I need a 30 for 30 to show that I'm different like Jordan and Pimmin, you bitch. I need a 30 for 30 like Jalen and Webber. Nobody gonna fuck with my clip. I need a 30 for 30. All right, we saw a shootout <clears throat> with two of the guys who are projected to be the future of this league. Uh, Tua, I ain't even gonna bother with that motherfucker last name. <laughs> and uh, Kyler Murray. Uh, Tua came out on top, uh, and that's his second start, right? So pretty impressive yeah. for, for his second start. He threw for 248 and two touchdowns. But in a losing effort, that goddamn boy Kyler Murray went for 283 through the air, three touchdowns, a buck 06 on the ground, and another touchdown. But he took that L. So going forward, man, this is what I got to think about. Who do y'all project going forward to have the better career between these two? Seemingly young studs. Cause we saw them match up in college as well. That's what <coughs> kind of intrigued me about the topic as well, because we know in yeah. Alabama and Oklahoma went at it. Uh I think uh Kyler was in on the losing end of it back then too. He was. He was. <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh but he put up stellar numbers then as well. But going forward, who do you think will have the better career? Kyler Murray or Tua? God bless your last name. Uh, Joe with <laughs> <laughs> um statistically Kyler will have a better career. Uh huh. Win loss record, I'm gonna go with Tua. Okay, talk to me. Yeah, it's intriguing. And and here's why as far as statistically, we, we know Tua only has two starts, so his number's not gonna, you know, really scream at you. But he's uh in his two starts, 32 of 50. Uh, that's like 65% completion, uh, 341 yards, three TDs, zero interceptions, nine rushes for 35 yards. But the most important thing, he's 2-0. Uh, Kyler, uh, 500 in this, this career now. So this is over his two years. Uh, 539 of 821, that's like 66% completion. 5,852 yards, 36 touchdowns, 19 interceptions, 169 rushes for 1,087 yards. His record, 10, 13, and 1. What that tells me is, is what we kind of said before we started. Um, Kyler's head coach, Cliff, he's, a, he's offensive minded. Mm -hmm. We can see that. But that doesn't necessarily translate into wins. Mm -hmm. Brian Flores, he has impressed me. His last 17 starts, Miami Dolphins are 10 and 7. Mm -hmm. um, Flores, he, unlike Cliff, to get a head coaching job just handed to you, Flores, let me, let me, let me tell you what. Let's see. On the Patriots, right? He started out, and basically, I, I think Flores is what you would call a jack of all trades coach. Mm -hmm. He was a scouting assistant. He went to special teams coaching assistant. He was then the assistant coach of the offense slash special teams. Uh, then he was the defensive assistant. Then he was the linebackers coach. Then he was the defensive coordinator. Now they didn't give him that title. But he was calling the defensive plays once Patricia left, which I don't know why they didn't give him the title. But as you could see, he's been a part of just about everything. Uh, not really the offensive side that much, but I, I think that's actually going to help him with Tua, which is why I said I think Tua will have the better win-loss record. Um, Kyler's going to put up numbers. He, he's going to put up numbers. I don't think he's necessarily going to put up wins. So if you give me the choice of the two, I'm going with Tua because I want wins. I want to eat the W like uh, Jameis. Jameis got to retire that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he brought that bitch back out the other day. Dog. He did. I, damn shit. He, he did. Uh, <laughs> damn, man. Uh, Clay, who you got? Who you believe in going forward have a better career? Uh, Tyler, I hate to be on the fence, but like I'm just gonna be real. I really don't know because I'm looking uh, at a lot that of facts. We, do. we that can't do we that. Do. I know we. I know we, we can't, can't do, do it. Put it on something now. Uh, what we do. 
Man, I might. <sighs> See, it's a tough one. Flip but the coin. If I flip the coin, I'll probably flip a coin and it land on two. And the reason why I say that, but it ain't strong. It ain't a strong one. It's, it's like we're going back to the percentages as well. I'm at, <laughs> I'm at 51% tool, 49% Kyler. You know, it's tough okay. because I'm okay. looking at a lot of dynamics that's going with this. I'm looking at the divisional competition. I'm looking at the direction of uh, the, the, the teams. I'm looking at that's the talent good. that the teams have. I'm looking at all this type of stuff. Like, Man, I the NFC West gonna be a juggernaut for it's gonna be a juggernaut, man. Cause like even even the Rams, even though like and I say us, I can't even say the Rams. I say us, we, even though we got a down year, but we ain't no bad team. The Rams not a bad team neither. You know what I'm saying? Like you you the bad team was the uh, Cardinals. You see what I'm saying? So it's like I'm looking at. All right, wins and wins and losses in that division. That's gonna be a tough division that uh Kyler has to play in. You know what I'm saying? But he has to me the better talent his way. He has a premier, if you want to say uh, arguably, uh you can argue and say he the best wide receiver in the league, you know what I'm saying? You can he make that argument. Yeah, no you doubt. have you have that. So that's a that's that's I mean shit, that's a hell of a compliment. If you're trying to progress your career forward, he's young too. So it's like you're going to see that connection for what, what he signed for like five, six years or something like that. I forget. But oh, uh, Nook, or Nook, how, what Nook signed for? Uh, uh, yeah, I think it was five. Yeah, high five. So you're going to see him if, with five. You know, <laughs> you, they're going to be connecting with each other. I bar an injury, five more years. So it's like, okay, he has the, the like leading to what Joe says, he's going to put up those numbers. Then he can scramble too. So it's like if we looking at numbers wise, then I more lean with him because we don't know how uh how the Dolphins gonna gonna manage you know that talent in 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 the future you know because I'm still I'm, I'm still not sold on what's the guy I be forgetting I hate when I when it's late at night and I be forgetting people names what's uh what's the wide receiver for uh for the Dolphins oh he Parker prone on. yeah Devontae yeah Devontae all right Parker. yeah like I mean I don't I mean is this their best wide receiver that they got like, are we going to – can we can we say yeah. he they best? We can't Dang. compare him to – Like Preston he Williams. Is, <laughs> like, then Preston Williams get hurt? But he's not. He's playing now. But. Okay, okay. So, so it's like you got two injury-prone uh, wide receivers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you traded one of your – I think they, they traded your I think slot. he's going defensive heavy, though. So, yeah, so, like, I can – I like the don't get me wrong, I like the direction that the Dolphins are going in. Don't get me wrong, I like that direction. But like you know, when it comes down to quarterbacks, it's either gonna be wins and losses or your numbers. And it's like I that's why I said it's like I don't know what the Patriots are gonna do, because I mean who 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 knows what's gonna happen with, with if when they come back or what Cam's gonna do, who knows when it comes to that situation. Uh, I know you got the Bills, you know what I'm saying? They 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 in a pretty tough – that's why I'm saying it's hard because they kind of like in a tough division too, like looking future-wise. But I just well, – They got the Jets to count on them. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm saying. I just, them. yeah, they can count on them. So that's why I'm, that's why I kind of lean towards two a little bit more. That even though Kyler got kind of like the immediate talent right now, we don't know what, what the Dolphins are going to build around to them. And if they do their job like they're supposed to and, like, they progress on, like, how they're supposed to, counting that the weak, like, the weakest person in our division still uh, run circles around the weakest person. And what day is the AFC? What, what day is it? East. Uh, East. Yeah, East. Yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah, East. I, I still think that we are we have the tougher division. And so wins and losses, I think Kyle is going to see more of those than I think two of them my opinion so it's kind of it's hard man it's hard it's yeah. a lot of it's a lot of factors that i'm looking up at y'all so. didn't drop some shit on me y'all drop some shit some heavy shit on me with that uh because i wasn't thinking about the divisional shit yeah it's hard for me to think about that because either you're gonna look at them like okay like how they how they how they do aaron Rodgers, and be like okay he's not winning that much like like i don't want kyler to be in that aaron Rodgers situation where it's like okay you got a great quarterback He's putting up great numbers, but it's just like because of, you know, not winning. and it, It's more of a coaching thing with y'all and stuff like that. But, like, with that division, he may he, – he, 
if he rides to the cream of the crop of our division, then I think he'll win a chip. But man, that's a tough task going through. You still gonna have to see Russ. You gonna have to see us. You still gotta see the uh. You still gotta see the Rams. So it's like it's tough for on that boy. And Kyler, he he doing a splendid job. But I think that uh, Tua Tua T got the 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 weaker division in my opinion. So I think he'll be more successful in a weaker division. But it is it, 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 it's by a small margin. So you know I gotta put it on some. So I gotta go with Tua. It's fifty one forty nine. <laughs> yeah, man. It's because because you know you know what uh Bill like if Bill right the ship. He gonna be going against Bill, with you know what I'm saying. So it's like two. It's like that's why I gotta say. And then the Bills, if they keep up doing what they're doing, that's gonna be a solid team that they gotta play in. And I and mm-hmm. Allen ain't hit his ceiling yet. So it's like, man, that's why I'm saying it, it's tough. There's a lot of factors that I'm looking at. Mm-hmm. So I can't put a, I can't say a toss up. I, I gotta put it on some. Oh, I yeah. gotta put it on the the, the slightly weaker division, the weaker division, which would be two in. So I gotta get to him. Now, now, JoJo, what was that uh record for Kyler again? Uh, Kyler is 10, 13, and 1. Career-wise? Damn. Career-wise. Now, just looked up. Now, last year, last year the Cardinals' defense was horrid. Last year they were 28th in the league, giving okay. up 27.6 points per game, kind of going to what you're saying uh, about Cliff. However – they must have right the ship to an extent this year. Cause right now they number eight in the league. Okay. Giving up 22.5. So right now, the Cardinals is one of those handful of teams in the league that has a top 10 defense and they got a top 10 offense. Cause they scoring 29.3 points a game. And what's, what's that record? Okay. They five and three. Yeah. Five and three. Okay. But again, in y'all division, shit. The Seahawks six and two. Cardinals right uh five and three, Rams five and three, y'all with all them injuries, four and five. You know what I'm saying? So that's tough. Like, y- y'all, I was gonna say Kyler. Cause just mm. watching that game, Kyler Murray just jump off the fucking screen to me. He does. You know, Tua. He does. When I think about Tua, I think about his accuracy and all that kind of stuff. I'm looking at him. I was impressed by some of the balls he throwing as a rookie. But Kyler Murray just jumps off the fucking screen. He could be so small, he threw a great deep ball for that touchdown. I, I usually see him throw great balls. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, he extends plays and throws. Of course, he get on that. He had 100 yards on the ground. He did. He he electrifying. You know what I'm saying? I worry about his ass getting lit up. If, if one of these one of these if boys, somebody like, finally catch him, like I think mm-hmm. of a linebacker like a Raekwon Smith. If one of them boys go go get his ass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What have happened, but I can say the same about Tua because we know his ass be banged up. Yeah. So I was gonna say Kyler, but y'all then brought some real ass shit by bringing up wins and losses. Because at the end of the day, we might look at shit a little deeper, <laughs> but that media don't end up saying which one on win. Because think about what we just said earlier. All right. When I when I told y'all I don't want to accept that Eli going to the Hall of Fame, y'all told me to get get over that shit, that motherfucker going undoubtedly, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. When I asked y'all if y'all thought Philip was going, Philip Rivers, it was a little hesitation. Matter mm-hmm. of fact, Joe, you said what seven tries? Seven. Didn't you? Yep, seven tries. Mm-hmm. Now look who got the better numbers, Philip Rivers. Philip Rivers. Phillip Rivers. But Eli got them two bowls when he had them souped up ass defenses, particularly mm-hmm. had that front four, the NASCAR motherfuckers. Front four. And he got them two bowls, and people judge him accordingly. So y'all, y'all right. If Tua can stay healthy and have success over there, and Kyler is putting up stupid numbers, it's kind of like what you Clay said about Aaron. Aaron. Statistically, if we go on by pass array, no, nobody's QBR shit. That's some new shit. Yeah. But going the the traditional pass array thing, he got the greatest pass array of all time. Right. But he got one bowl. And with that one bowl, folks like, yeah. You know, our defense is, we got the number 17 defense this year. We ain't finna <laughs> win shit. Green Bay, get your shit to. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, ain't no tip me saying that. Trade that line gone. They ain't trying to do shit. Fuck them up. We talking about Kyler too. Yeah, you got to live what you got. I, I'm rolling with Kyler. 
Uh, but I won't be surprised if, if two will end up, you know, folks saying he was better. I'm still gonna say Kyle, that motherfucker electrifying though. Yeah. That'd be interesting yeah. to see going forward. Go. Go. Subscribe to our daddy's YouTube channel. He's the best. Hit the like button. Turn on the notifications.